Hello there, it's Hello with the Armageddon Report. Typhoon Vicente no longer officially being tracked. However, monsoon warnings are now in effect for the Hong Kong area. As we looked at the site yesterday, strong monsoon signal. So if you happen to be affected by that, you should totally pay attention to that webpage. So we'll go to cycloking.com where you can see Vicente since the JTWC issued the last warning on this like yesterday at some point, and it's now remnant. So no longer be tracked here. However, we've had a over in the United States type area, we had as high as 90%. I didn't believe it got up to, and I, I think that was actually at the time of yesterday's screencast. Now it's dropped back down to 60. And this, I don't even think existed at the time of yesterday's screencast, and it's now up to 40%. However, if you take a look at the, the spaghetti models, all of the carbohydrates, the pasta, and so on and so forth. It would not really affect the United States. Might affect part, might could go up here. I don't know what the sea surface temperatures are though, so it's quite possible that even if it did travel roughly that way, it might only be bringing rains and a lightish wind by the time it reached there. So we'll keep an eye on that. So that, if it did happen to reach tropical storm status, would be tropical storm Ernesto. However, given where it is, how far north and how far east, I don't think there's really favorable sea surface temperatures out that way, so probably wouldn't make tropical storm status. But hey, I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time, so you know, don't take my word for it. Tornado HQ is the new name of uh, tornadocoverage.com, though I think the old one still forwards, I don't remember. Anyway, so we actually have had some tornado warnings earlier today, so you can Click on this and see where they were, where they would have been going. It looks like they've still got some stormy type stuff in the area. Yeah, so, uh, but nothing else going on. So, a quick switch on over to here where it seems like the heat advisory is sped, spread farther east, but I'm not sure. It could be because it's clashing with all of these similar colors, which are severe thunderstorm related. And then, heat advisories out here. Heat advisories, I do believe, is what the shade of stuff, yes. So the heat advisory is spreading east and south. How fun. These are red flag warnings. That's where conditions can be favorable for fires to spread quickly if they get set. So don't be setting any fires. And today it's late enough that you actually get to watch or view or whatever. The 2000 Zulu Outlook. So let's first take a look at what are the watches in effect. So we've got, you can see 30% chance of winds is the highest thing today. So, it's all severe thunderstorms right now because they're all orange. It would be red if it were a tornado watch. So, severe thunderstorm watches for several of these states until, let's see, 7, 8, 8, and 10 for all of the different things that are going on right now. So, let's take a look at, this is the wind map. So, this would be winds 58 miles per hour greater, so 30% chance. So, for instance, uh, North Carolina, we picked this random point. And we say that means there's nearly a one in three chance that that point or someone within a 25 mile radius of them will see a severe wind event today. So how about hail? Hail is just 15%, but still basically affecting the same general areas, just not as intensely apparently. And then tornado wise, 5% chance for North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, and then a 2% chance along the coast type areas. Tomorrow, we've got a 30% chance again with this thing up here, it looks, I don't know, it kind of looks like a, a shark, except ignore that. I'm seeing sea creatures in this blob of probability, whatever it is. Yeah, so here's where the 30% chance is so for Wisconsin, Michigan with the highest, as of now at least, could, things could change around tomorrow. And then stretching slightly far back and then slightly far south with the 5%. Day after tomorrow, another slight risk, but this time just only as high as 15. Of course, it could get upgraded by the time to the day three rolls around. Can't think of math. So that's what's going on day after tomorrow, right? Yes, tomorrow and the day after, also known as day three. That movie just wouldn't have been as exciting if they had named it day three. You know, it just wouldn't have had the box office numbers or whatnot. Anyway, days four through eight, the medium range or whatever it'd be called, Predictability too low. So there is some sort of severe thunderstorm weather predicted in days four through eight. But right now, not enough agreement on location and or timing between the models and the model runs, whatever it is. They generally discuss it if you, you know, like words and stuff and like reading. 
Anyway, so we'll keep an eye on that for whatever reason. Yeah, severewethertv.com is the official homepage of the screencast, and I am going to be building a drought page later today. I don't know where I'll fit the link, but I'll put a link up here. Something else will have to go away. But yeah, I'm going to culminate, is that the word? Combine a whole bunch of drought resources into one page. So, you know, because I'm going to use it in the screencast for Drought Thursday, which is coming up when? Uh, Thursday, of all things. Anyway, WikiWix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com. You can also get your severe thunderstorm-related weather news from weather.gov, of all places, and from Storm Prediction Center. Of course, that's only if you're in the United States. If you're elsewhere, I don't know, Google your country name plus severe weather and find out what happens. Yeah. Cyclo located C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E.com. There's also National Hurricane Center, Joint Typhoon Warning Center, the thing I can never get out of my mouth. Just call it the JTWC, righto. Or if you're affected, if you're in Hong Kong, you could go to the Hong Kong Observatory, you know, wherever you want to go. I don't know, just Google weather, see where it leads you. Might lead you somewhere interesting or, or not. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoy your day and the things go splendidly for you.